Hello YouTubers, it's Zombie 38 I'm here playing or trying to play with my re recently acquired Neo Geo Pocket Color. I only have one game, but that's good enough, at least for now. It's a pretty cool device, and this is basically, oops, battery went down. Uh, obviously the, it's not charged uh, the batteries are dead right now but it's a pretty cool device a uh, handheld and I'm showing you this one um, when I booted up the first time it showed that uh, some memory error or something like that but that's because behind here you have to replace the CMOS battery that is there that keeps the time and the settings in memory but and anyways it's working fine it's not perfect you have some dings and dance somewhere but it's pretty it's pretty good shape a little bit rough but whatever this video is about the hardware that I collect through the months or through the through, uh, uh, mostly the past four weeks so um, I'm showing first the Neo Geo Pocket then showing a slim PS2 it was in pretty decent condition, works fine and it wasn't that that, that uh, uh, clean. You know, it was it was not that dusty. So that game and another thing that I uh, I bought recently on Goodwill and Bargain Barn here where I live is this not the PS2. The PS2 was already I already have it, but just to for display, I have this Interact Mobile Monitor that uh, it's pretty cool to have and works fine. And also, moving to something else, I got that little dude there, the Atari Flashback. Very cool system. It has uh, 40 games integrated uh, for the obviously for the Atari 2600 back in the day. Really whole. But that was my first system when when I was growing up, the Atari 2600. So I decided to give it a spin to the Atari Flashback. It's pretty decent. Uh, the emulation is pretty good, or I would say not emulation, it's actually an Atari, an updated Atari 2600, and uh, it does a pretty, a pretty good job. Or here on my monitor computer, I'm, it's just my Dreamcast playing some uh, Battle Zone for the Dreamcast. It's right here, it's not part of this video, but just put it as a background. The thing doesn't do any kind of noise, so whatever is there. Alright, another thing that I bought was this pretty neat Nintendo Storage for the Nintendo 64 games. And this is something that I was looking a while ago. It holds 24 cartridges. Let me open this thing to show you. It's already filled up because I have more than 24. <laughs> and but it's pretty well made. But it holds 24 games. On my case, it has 26 and like 14 more lying around somewhere. <laughs> but it's pretty solid and 
bulky, of course, because it's holding all that plastic inside, but it's pretty good. I bought it for one dollar or one dollar seven cents with taxes. Um, it's a great addition to my Nintendo 64 collection, and I'm, ho I'm hoping later to find another one to stack it up. Because th that's the best way to collect Nintendo 64 games and stack them on, on these official cases, storage cases. So that's basically my video. Hope you guys uh, like it. And if you see one of these uh, Neo, Geo Neo Geo Pocket Colors, grab it because it's a cool little handheld. But unfortunately it's not backlit, but still some, it still has some pretty decent games. So that's it for now. Um, I will be um, showing later my game pickups for the end of the September. And that will be for now. Thank you guys and thank you for watching. Bye.